Kia ora year 12 and year 11. This video is a request from Inesh for a question that is about the normal distribution. Now his question was really about the notation in here, but the whole question is a good one, so I'm going to do all of it. It's also interesting that it's 12 whole marks out of 50, so it's quite a big chunk of the, the stats paper in 2017. Um, I've got a lot of background music going on here, but I'm hoping that you guys will still be able to hear me working through the question. If it's really bad, just um, leave me a note and I'll redo it. So Josie aims to catch a bus and the bus arrives, departs at a fixed time every day and she gets to the bus stop T minutes before it goes. First, we have to find the probability that she has to wait more than six minutes. That's straightforward. And then we have to go backwards because on 5% of days, she's got to wait longer than some number at the bus stop. We have to figure out that number. And then I'm going to come back to the next couple of questions when I get there. Okay, so let's do this first one, which is a standardizing one. We want to find the probability that t is greater than 6. And so we turn that into a z. We do that by taking off the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. And if we go back to that notation, that's what this is saying, right? So the squiggly line with the n means is distributed normally. And then the first number in the brackets is mu. And the second number in the brackets is sigma squared. And it's always going to follow that pattern, okay? So in here, what we're doing is we're saying we started with a t, but we need to turn it into a standard normal, a z. So we're going to find the probability that z is greater than, this is 0.333. And we know that what we want is this upper tail, but the tables give me this one here. So I find that probably going by going 1 minus phi of 0.333, and that gives me an answer of um, 1 minus 0 0.6304 or 0 0.370. Okay, so for the next one, what we have to do is figure out what the number is so that on 5% of days she has to wait longer than that time. So as usual, start by drawing a graph. Here's my graph. This is t. We want to know what's this number here that cuts off 5% here, which means that I've got 95% here. So I can't do that with t, but I can use my tables for z to say if I've got 0.95 in here, what's the z value? So what I'm looking for is this, phi of z is equal to 0.95 and that gives me a value of z of 1.645. Now we work backwards and we say that z is equal to t or x or whatever it is minus mu over sigma. Right? Remember this is my total number of minutes that Josie waits for the bus. So we're solving backwards to work out this number up here. So 1.645 is equal to t minus 5.3 divided by 2.1. Now when I solve that for t, I get t is equal to this, and that gives me 8.755. Now I'm confessing that I haven't done that calculation on my calculator, I've actually grabbed that from the mark schedule because I'm in a big hurry tonight. Now we've got two more interesting problems. Um, the first one that I'm going to do is actually number four, find the probability that Josie misses the bus. So we have to use some common sense. When does she miss the bus? Well, if she gets to the bus stop when t equals zero, she gets there right when the bus is there. So she's not going to miss it. So what we're looking for here is just to find the probability that t is less than zero. And that's a really easy question, right? That's exactly what we had in the first part. It's kind of surprising that they put this in, but there you go. So the probability that she misses the bus is the probability that t is negative, which is the probability that z is less than zero, minus 5.3 over 2.1, which is the probability that z is less than negative 2.524. And that's this area back here, which is 1 minus phi 2.524, which is a very, very little number overall. That works out to be 0 0.0058. Now the last part of this question that I'm doing is the most interesting. And it's where we start out with a normal problem. Okay, so this one here, find the probability that she waits longer than X minutes on fewer than three days in 10 days. So what I've got going on here is that in this part, we were told that on 5% of the days, 
she's got to wait longer than x minutes. And then in this bit here, I've, I'm counting fewer than three days out of 10 days. So this is a binomial problem. Here's what I'm looking for. We know that we're going to say that n is equal to 10 and let x be the number of days when she waits more than um, more than what was it I think it was 8.8 .8 minutes but you don't have to work this number out to do this question right you can work this question through with just knowing that um, the chances that she has to wait more than that time is 5% so what am I trying to find well we want to have the probability that she has to wait um, for that time on fewer than three days. So it's the probability that x is less than three, and it's a binomial problem now. Nothing to do with the normal distribution. So that's equal to the probability that x equals zero, one, or two. So that's going to be equal to 0.95 to the power of 10 plus 10 times 0.05 times 0.95 to the 9 plus this last one. Okay, so just a straightforward sum of three little binomials and that works out to be 0 0.988 to three significant figures. So there you go, um, quite a lot in there. If you're wobbly on binomial distribution questions, make sure you've gone over those in your Pure One textbook but you should be getting pretty good at the normal calculations after the last few days of revision. Thanks for watching.